Okay, so if you are using any of these servants and they are not using Black Rail, um, Summer Ishar is going to replace them. If you use Achilles, Summer Suzuka, or Andromeda for your quick farming, um, especially against casters, Summer Ishar is just going to blow them out the water. Like, absolutely with no remorse like my boy achilles is getting slaughtered out here and he got a buffed mp like please give him his like buff his third skill to make the mp gain three turns because this is ridiculous ah uh, she, she has good base stats too 9.6k for a four star when it goes to level 100 this is normal five star numbers at level 90 uh not saying rail her to level 100 i'm just saying that's her baseline uh that her attack even as gimped as it is in comparison to a five star meaning lower than 2000 attack where they are he still out damages them by almost double the damage attack important stat not the end all be all when you're considering an mp1 to an mp5 hp this is pretty low not gonna lie uh it's why she has so much hard survivability in her kit even if it doesn't last long you just like time one of them you time it right the other you're not you're not waiting for her to just tank a hit besides like you don't need to wait you'll see later star weight star gen these are normal rider numbers mb gen 0.68 percent this is like this is not the final number. In fact, it jumps up closer to 1.2 uh, after her own buffs, which her quick units, their MP gain does not go that high. One of the most praised quick units, Kintoki's uh, MP gain is notoriously really, really stupid for how easy it is for him to loop. Summer Ishar now is in that same vein, except it's even more exacerbated because she's a looper, not single target. This most quick units are star for MP gain. Summer Ishar is one of those few that is definitely not starved. He has, I don't want to say she has too much. You can't have too much of good things like this. Not for looping. This is, this is the stuff you were begging for from buffs. uh pace cards not good but she has so much quick in her kit and in farming that these quick cards even though they're two hit they'll refund a good amount number one number two they're star gen i wouldn't try to gen that many stars but it's it at least is going to be a significant amount there's going to be like around 150 between 150 and uh 200% quick going into it here i uh, these quick cards even if they're not the best they're still going to be better than a lot of other quick cards and extra attack is shit unfortunate moving on first skill 20% buster 20% quick 20% mp gain for the party not even herself she also has 12% quick as a passive. And then she has 20% quick from her MP. She has 50% quick while still giving AOE buffs. This is good multi farming, multi core utility. And she's all, like, I'm mostly talking about her as a farmer, like uh, single core. She has so much MP gain, she could be doing um multi-core and her refund probably isn't gonna change that much it's probably gonna be sitting close to 30 to 50 percent as a quick unit without getting another uh a third scotty buff that does mean that ishar to get 50 percent is going to need at least two squat uh scotty 50 percents but is what it is no multi-core node or no 90 plus 90 plus plus node is going to be the same 
So you have to change base on the node. Cell turn. This is something that um, Musashi and Da Vinci Rider have. Uh, I wouldn't expect this buff to, or the skill to get buffed. It is a dodge, no duration. It gets used up when she actually gets hit. And then crit damage 50% for one turn on a four turn cooldown. Get this maxed out and you can spam it. And basically, if you still have the dodge, don't pop the skill. I mean, yeah, if you still have the dodge, don't pop the skill. Um, but if you need to crit, you pop the skill. It's, it's on such a short cooldown, it kind of doesn't matter unless you need to dodge an MP. Then it matters. But she has something else for that sometimes. So the buff is not up here yet. Right now, it is uh, one attack. This is staying the same. Uh damage 50% for one turn star gen 50% for one turn mp gen 50% for one turn debuff resistance 50% for one turn healing uh received 50% for one turn and then she stunned herself after this skill sucks and they specifically buffed this on summer tamamo so that she didn't uh stun herself but they went a good step further than summer tamamo and also because tamamo does not need mp gen like this she's a buster unit she wanted i think what is it crit damage i think it was like three turns of crit damage she took along with getting a battery ishtar none of the other effects are changing at all all of them are still 50 percent for one turn but the mp gain is now three turns and she got a 30 battery so she is able to black rail loop. Spoiler alert. That's why I was saying if these units weren't using black rail, Ishtar blows it up the water. He can do black rail. She can do it very consistently too. Uh, it's like even like, especially on neutral, she's able to do it consistently. Uh, you can see here on the note uh, that most of these AOE black rail loopers are stuck to fighting casters only. Uh, Ishar not having those problems because she is MP5. That is the main reason she's able to get away with this is because she's automatically MP5. So she's hitting the max uh, damage on the first hit that she possibly can uh, versus like all these other units that are stuck at MP1. They're, they're just not doing as much damage. So this was a really, really, really stupid buff to give her. Not stupid in a bad way, stupid in a really good way. He honestly makes five stars look bad in comparison. Uh, when I go back and update the tier list, she's probably going to A plus, if not EX for a welfare. And when I when it comes time to like talk about Rider tier list, uh, a kill like these five stars are going to be compared to uh summer ishtar there's no way i'm not going to compare them specifically because summer ishtar is in the welfare shop you can get her at any time that's why i'm putting such emphasis on this servant right now because this is not a servant people need to spend money on at all you will already have her ready to go as long as you log in, do your dailies, play events, you should be able to get the servant hit it out within a month. Within a month, if not sooner, if you've just been hoarding because we haven't had an evocation in a, feels like a couple months. Uh, Moving on, let's go to passives. EX writing, I already said that. Independent action A, 10% crit damage. And Goddess Essence, 12%, uh, 22.5% debuff resistance. She's not a knight class, so she doesn't have magic resist. That would give her the wombo combo, but she doesn't have it right now. Pens, again, this goes back to her being a welfare. She is going to have enough uh, serving coins to get all of these. Uh, but this is what takes priority. Then this. Then this. Then I would say extra attack. And then finally anti-ruler you probably don't even need anti-ruler 
MP, like we saw earlier, has no normal effect. Four turns. The only thing these other servants have over um, Ishar is their MPs actually do something and they can do so. They have niche damage. Ishar doesn't have that. So that's why I didn't speak about Taiko Bo. A, he's more multi core than single core in the first place. B, his power mods are really, really dumb if they line up together. Like he is doing like 40,000 for a face card in the first slot that does not crit. Like when he's not even with, I think just two Scotties, not three. So he wasn't in this conversation, but Achilles has crit ramp up. That's his advantage. But that again is more for fighting a boss and you would not be bringing uh, Summer Ishar to fight a boss. Uh, Suzuka technically a closer comparison, but Suzuka again, he scales very differently. Uh, based on the mp copies strictly because he does have like crit ramp up and i believe attack ramp up if i'm not mistaken so summer ishar is strictly going to be a farmer while all those others on the list that i said like they are much more yeah attack buff by critting so she, she even she's more of a cq servant uh, and don't even get me started on Andromeda. She's definitely a CQ servant. Like, taunt, all that shit. All right, so wanted to make sure I was doing all the math right. So, real quick, we're going to do three numbers. Uh, this is going to be uh, double Scotty and triple Scotty numbers. Uh, so, first... Uh, no, uh, double Scotty, one ruler. It's gonna be 15% attack, 20 from her skill, another 20 from the MP. She already has another 10 from her passive, plus 15 from uh, one ruler Scotty, and then another 100. Yes. So this is double Scotty, and we're not even talking about the other support. Uh, reset. 50%. Uh, if we throw in another ruler Scotty, this jumps up to 220. And 67% refund. Uh, this is triple Scotty, and then let's bump this down to 170. 170, I believe, is just uh, tri uh, double ruler Scotty. Yeah, so in practicality, uh, she is going to be looping closer to here. Uh, this is against neutral numbers, though, and she's getting overkill on the first hit. So take these numbers with a grain of salt, but this is still her with just two supports you still have another plug suit so able to do Oberon able to do Oberon fairly well uh to add on to that because even if you loop slightly under for uh wave one if you're looping like 40 uh 8 47 the extra mp damage is probably gonna like push you over the edge and help you get overkill to loop the last wave more consistently. Uh, I would say that to be safe, just use triple Scotty for black rail looping, but she should be able to do Oberon. And again, this is also against neutral. If you bring her to fight casters, you're not going to have an issue. You're really not going to have an issue because this is 1.0 refund. Casters is 1.2. You would literally be getting um, from this alone would be 60 something. So that Ishar is, has a lot going for her. So TLDR, all the other AOE quick uh, riders, sorry. All of them have something else to bring to the table uh, in 
content outside of farming that gives them a better edge over Ishtar. She's strictly a looper. You can bring her to CQ stuff. She does have like some nice crit utility. That's uh, what? 300% uh, uh, quick crit damage for a turn. It's like not that she can't do it. It's just like other servants are just going to do it better. Um, yeah. Evocation. If you need someone to farm, here you go. All right. Uh, I'm going to go farm 90 plus plus on JP now. I'll see you guys. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.